Hey guys, today I wanted to talk about um, video wrappers. I want to talk about, well, specifically um, Yabla, but more generally um, video wrapper sites like uh, like Yabla. I think Yabla and FluentU are actually the two big ones. Um, and a video wrapper is basically a site that takes a video, um, either locally sourced or sourced from a streaming site like YouTube. Um, like this, but instead of having the standard player controls and the uh, the progress bar, <coughs> excuse me, the um and the subtitles on the screen. So the um the the subtitles are actually placed on the site itself, like taken off the video and are made interactive. So basically, you're watching a video. Um, you know, in the case of Yabla, if you go like, let me see if there's one here. I've only got an Italian account, but um to see if there's a, I think on page three I saw one, um, ah, here we go, so you got the little YouTube icon here, this means it's like sourcing from YouTube, so if I click onto that video, um, you got the, <coughs> so this video is actually sourcing from, uh, from YouTube, um, and uh, yeah, and so what it's doing is it's taking those subs off the YouTube video, it's placing them on the page, making them interactive. So if I click on this word here, for example, it sources that, um, that translation from the Yabla Dictionary. In fact, if I click on this one, um, it's sourcing it from the Yabla Dictionary. There's also a Wiktionary source, there's a Babylon, Dict.cc. So you've got all these different definitions, um, translations coming in from different um, dictionary sources. Um, but anyway, this is a video wrapper. So, um, and, and FluentU does the same thing, except I think all of FluentU videos are from YouTube. Um, by the way, uh, this, I'm really curious about, um, <coughs> I'm really curious about licensing. I don't, I don't know how they, um, I don't know how they get, um, permission to, I've always been curious about how sites like FluentU and Yabla um, manage to use other people's content off YouTube um, and sell it. Um, has anyone else ever thought of that? I mean, it's kind of, I don't know if they have to seek permission for it or if there's like a, uh, maybe there's an open license on the video and they're just allowed to do it. I don't know, but. So anyway, that's a, that's a video wrapper. Then you down the bottom here, you've obviously got the player controls. So they've taken them off the video and put them down here. Uh, you've got a you know a slow button here and then a loop button um, theater mode for full screen. <clears throat> um, so that's yeah um, that's that's a video. The reason why I wanted to talk about this is that um, you know I've kind of been exploring different ideas and different technologies just to to see where um, what people find useful. You know I mean uh, I, I hear a lot of. Um, when I when I look at reviews and comments about sites like Yabla, people will often say, "Oh, it only it doesn't have many videos. Look at the number of videos it has just for Italian, seventeen hundred." Um, and people will say, "Oh, you know, it doesn't have that enough videos, or they're only really short. They're only like two or three minutes long." And you're like, you know, it's so superfluous because, you know, who's going to go through seventeen hundred videos? You might watch them, but you're not going to learn from that many videos. Um, you know, obviously you have, you know, uh, download link for the audio, transcript. Um, <coughs> so I'm just trying to see, I, I guess, try to ascertain, like, what, you know, what do people actually find useful in terms of, um, in terms of these video wrapper sites? Like, um, you know, is it, is it a, is it a quantity over quality thing? Or is it, you know, would you rather, um, would you rather a site that has, you know, 150 Italian videos um, but really goes into, into great depth about each video and, you know, maybe longer videos and it explains like in greater detail, uh, what the, you know, it, rather than just give you a little, a couple of, um, automatically sourced definitions. I mean, there's a bit of grammar here, but, um, you know, it, it's pretty, it, it's pretty, in order to have 1700 videos on, on Italian, they can't. It'd be very difficult to go through every single one of them and, and create a full scale lesson out of that one video, right? So they it's all done sort of automatically in a sense. And so, yeah, I'm just trying to work out, um, <coughs> you know, what do people find? 
more beneficial? Would you rather have a library like this that's just jam-packed full of thousands of tiny videos that are all sort of automatically, um, that kind of pull down information and just kind of, <coughs> you know, automatically display things on page or, um, you know, pass subtitles like this? Or, or would you rather something that has been like intentionally uh, created for learning, um, where a, you know a teacher has actually gone through each line, each word, and kind of explained it. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm putting that to you as a question. Like, what would you, what do you actually prefer? What do you find more useful? Do you think that this is um, another another thing that I raised in my review is you know how do these sites remain viable um, when you have things like YouTube, you know, you know, and you have literally millions of free videos that you can access. Um, that have subtitles on them already, um, you know, you know, does, is a site like this now redundant? Does has it become redundant? Is it pointless? Um, I I really like Yabla. I think it's great. Um, you know, people say that the um, the interf <coughs> excuse me that the interface is kind of dated. Um, people say it's kind of a, a clunky old um, interface. They they have actually upgraded this. There's a the original one. Um, looks like this um you know people people use that as kind of the main criticism that Yabla's really out of date but um functionally it does a great job um it is on an older web framework but uh you know it does it does everything that you would expect in in this kind of site so um you know it has uh has games as well like fill in the blank and multiple choice which is basically the same thing but they're just taking words out of the subtitles and and forcing you to listen closer um yeah so i, I don't know guys i just uh this is a just a site to say uh, a video to say like what's um you know what do people find useful in terms of these sorts of platforms um and are these platforms becoming redundant are they becoming um no like no longer necessary now that we have now that we have things like youtube um, and, and what would be the, I guess the, you know, if, if there were, if they were to improve a platform like Yabla, what would be the, how could they do it? How could they improve it? What could they do to it to make it better? Um, I would like to hear your, your comments. Um, and if you'd like to read my in-depth review, you can, um, you can read it on my site, mesoguild.com slash Yabla. All right. Thanks guys.